daughter is missing. If she went far, that means travel expenses. 500 caps. That's all we have. You have to go after her. Please. This isn't your job. It belongs to the whole town. Something's coming through the fog. You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. You're headed for Acadia, right? Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. I can get you, Acadia. But you've got to listen. Go where I say, when I say. Don't order me around. Tell me, are you a synth? No. Fine. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. Personally, I find calculated mass murder to be very soothing. Look, help me out, and if I'm wrong, you can make all the jokes you want. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? We aren't planning to destroy the island. For helping you out, I expect some appreciation. Informed cats. You and me both. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. The fog has all nasty. Right, so here we go. Greetings, mainlanders. Back for another spin through Far Harbor with beautiful Bernard. Because, just thinking, you know, it's a pretty awful, depressing atmosphere we're living in at the minute with a lot of unpleasant people and selfish behaviour going on. So let's escape from that with a nice jaunt to somewhere full of depressing atmosphere, unpleasant people and selfish behaviour. I've got my fine hand cannon here to protect me from any wayward children of Adam. Let's get going. So, the last time we were here, Bernard, what are you addicted to? I don't know. Yeah, last time we were here, we bulldozed old Longfellow's house and improved on it vastly. Relegated him to a cupboard, sent McCready to the basement, and also turned him into a living lobster pot. Is he still wearing sunglasses? Yeah, yes. Right. So. Hey, need something? Possibly. <laughs> we should probably go and do some actual work. But Bernard's not the world's most sensible individual, but he's also not an idiot. So, I think we should probably have a guide for this. We can ignore him and abandon him to the fog creatures at some point later. You. Just once, let me find a pair of socks that don't have a white shoe. Okay. Much better. <laughs> oh, this child. Are you He's kidding? always glowing. Haven't you seen him? <laughs> anyway, after a tradition, I have no idea where I am or what I'm doing in this, so we're just gonna play it by ear and just twat about until we find out where we're going. Or I could just check the pit boy, but that'd be far too organised. Far too organised, out of character. Good. Ooh, an occurrence. Those condensers down by the fresh water. Storm didn't take him out. She did. Shetty might spot her. I, but the children. Won't somebody please think of the children? It's like I've been saying. The children of Adam are out to kill us all. This here saboteur meant to cut us off from food and water. Punishment is pretty clear, Captain. Do what you must. Yeah! Children, bastards! You're right, Adam. How will you listen to sense? Something you don't hear every day. Adam need to be wiped clean off this island. You've had your blood today. I can't stomach any more of it. All of you. Jojo, go home. If 
That ain't one of my favorite customers. What can I do you for? Show me what you got. Make it fast. Oh, do I want that? Yeah, yeah, I do. What am I gonna pay for it with? A shed load of mac and cheese. Some fungus I picked. No, he can't have my cigars, they're too classy for him. Some drugs. This mass amount of dirty water I've got, I don't know where it's come from. But it's going to keep me in weaponry. <laughs> Why can't I use sliders? There, give me ten of your caps. Guns, guns, and <laughs> The three pillars of his life. But, you know. He'd like Alan Lee. Alright, I sorted out my eyebrow mechanics, but this beard is still incredibly uncomfortable. I might have to pad it or something. I was saying. Right, so what was I actually doing? Oh yes. I'll sort you out later. That's right, I'm stealing cans. Oh, that's got that. No, that's got that. Mini game with the bugs. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, four levels up. No, oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. oh, seems like something we do. Ingrowing hairs after this. I don't even have a real beard. Take its skin, but I'll have to touch it. What am I addicted to? Okay, <laughs> that's fine. a lot ruder than it actually is. Uh, done and done. Something going on. <laughs> Longfellow, you look awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm supposed to be taking the piss, but you look amazing. <laughs> I danger for breakfast. No, you don't. Tastes like chicken. Maybe. Oysters. Not that he needs them, I mean. Why would a man like this need after a busy ex? Any help? Hell yeah. Oh, Get lost. You're messing with the best. Ooh. So many brilliant things to put in a 3D. I really don't care. That's my sentiments is that I know. Should probably try and get him resistant to rads. Yeah, that seems like a lot of work. <sighs> Losers, not a male. Nobody loves you. Yes. The visitor center. I love this place. It's full of traps and body parts, but that's not what I love. The man who lives here is just oh I love him. 
He's amazing. I'm gonna have to uh, put the torch on for this one. Because. It covers the place in bear tracks. If you say so. Where are you then? Are you here? You embarrass me by pretending you ain't here. Where are you? Are you not here until the quest happens? Oh. Oh, dude. I desire your presence. Paper. Oh, I'm guessing he's not here until later on. That's no fair. Sounds Uncle like Ken lives here. Mood. He's a grumpy bastard. I love him. He's my spirit animal. Oh, Longfellow just got caught in a bear trap and I missed it. I was doing a thing. I must continue with my thing. Don't want to get sidetracked. It's probably important. <gasps> What's this? Right. Calm down. Can't you even, like, beat up a wolf in hand-to-hand -hand combat? What kind of person are you? Are you kidding me? Here's a phone. Call someone who cares. Silt beans. Nobody likes beans. Around here somewhere is apparently a void to hell. Oh no, it's gone. But there is a super mutant suicider. Let's do the pleasure was all mine. There was another one around here somewhere. What was that? No idea. They're on to us. Kill them! Shoot me. Savage. Who's there? Most beautiful man you've ever seen. Time to put on a show. Don't fight me, I'm perfect! Tit. Get out! This is my place. Attack! Sorry. Oh yeah. I'm gonna send you 
Take that. Oh, we use business. <laughs> Go on, Bennett. Want some more? Jesus Christ. I had to do that all myself. Don't you deserve you one, old man. What you got? I suggest they care about you. I've come out wherever you are. Absolutely. Get as can be. Oh, that's even better. Hey. Hey. Go on. Yeah. Hey. It's pointless. It makes you look like Damn you're insane. Fabulous. Oh, my microphone has gone limp. Thank you. Let's get out of here. This place is disgusting and it smells. Oh, barriers to my egress. <laughs> I was doing something. Of course. Tangentially interrupted. Keep kicking the shredder that lives under the desk. Let's get on with it. Wrong place, wrong time, pal. Sorry, dude. That's bullshit. Got it. Good riddance to that scum. Is that all? Nice. I'm sorry, man. Are you kidding me? You don't usually look all the same, you people that wear lobster pots on your head. Unclip one side of my beard because it was killing my ears. Oh, we're in the place we're supposed to go. But yeah, so if uh, I'm lopsided, it's because I'm giving my left ear a bit of a rest. So I'm also clumping my microphone. Mm, that sounds like a harpoon gun going off. Oh, you're not something I want to be dealing with. Be tactical about this. There we go. No, you had legendary stuff. Why have you gone through the floor? Thanks, Todd. Are you sleeping or are you dead? 
You're sleeping. You're all going to die. Firm but fair there, Bernard. Death from above. Oh no, he's got a big gun. This is just right now. Yes. Oh no. Run away! Run away! I'm up here, you uncoordinated bastard. What can I say? I'm good at what I do. I'm sorry. I guess I just lost control. If I see one more ghoul. Oh, take your round. I'm not drinking that. Eat some prepackaged food. No, no healthy, healthy cigars. Dirty water. Oh, I can't have sugar. Sugar's bad for your skin. Can't have iguana. The iguana soup. It's people! Mm, the water's good for you. Hey. Need something? Possibly. So much hair in this beard. <gasps> Look at this guy's neck, he's a freak. Ooh. Ooh, put him down. This will be an interesting challenge. No. Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, so many nice things for me to play with. Can I get into there? Yes, I can. Your gold. I'll take your money. Don't want a laser pistol. This is too hard. Go away. Don't touch. Jesus. Let me go green. Disgusting. Good riddance. I don't want your garbage. Decency has something useful on you. Let's do this. I see one more ghoul. Dead as can be. Line of sight, I don't want to give you ideas. My, my way. 
There we go. Go, McCready. No, sorry, Matt. Get there. Don't bring it over here. Oh, go, on, McCready. See this glorious snake light. No, that's not because it's showing up the uh, shortcomings of the game. It, it just works. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighteen small things. Get out of the way, you old duffer. You stupid old duffer! I really don't care. This nonsense. Hold on. I've been casing those ghouls for weeks. Wait for an opening. Then you dive in and choppy chop, bang, bang, and the whole lot of them dead. You even know what you got right there? A premium set of Pelman's power tools. I really don't care what these are. Wait. So you're not salvaging them? Oh. oh. Marina sent you, didn't she? Goddamn Mitch and his big mouth. No matter what she's offering, it's nothing. Serious builders would give an arm for them tools. I'll pay you 2,000 caps right here, right now. Deal? Tools in a condition like this, they're positively unique. Maybe I should auction them off someplace. $2,750. Say yes now before I change my mind. Fine. We have a deal. Here you go. Just like we promised. Ha! I got myself some helmets. <laughs> He's such an ass. Hey. I got myself my helmets. Thanks to me, yes. <laughs> Let's go and visit the nutters at the nucleus. Time to put on a show. Oh no. I'm ending this right now. I'm gonna get wet. Oh, the island's got to load. Ugh. Should probably help out Cassie Dalton at some point, seeing as I gouged her for like her family's entire fortune. But she's gonna sit there and give quests to the nearest person to pass then. I don't know what she's expecting. She's gonna get some enormous twerk come barreling along. Oh, this island's so filthy. I'm surprised he spends any time here at all. Let's get on with it. Hell yeah. Oh, this goofy some old looking git is gonna come and he's gonna slide at me. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Hide from the tiny blonde man who looks like a superwoman. I'm afraid he might clobber you with his square chin. Yeah. I don't have time for you. Oh, you got me. Oh, buddy, no. 
Yes. Let's get this over with. See what's left. Let's see the other one. Let's do this. Oh, there it is. Up close. Yes. Ugh, no. I'm not sticking my hands in that thing even for a hairbrush. It's got skewed priorities, but you know. I eat danger for breakfast. Tastes like chicken. What you can do so that you can shoot me. You can probably jump and get me to know. Yeah. So, go back into that pond and not bother to mature ever. Very long fella. I think I shot him in the head. But he shouldn't have placed it in my line of fire. It's in that direction. Oh, they're gonna make me climb the things. I'm not dressed for this, I'm dressed for a nice holiday. And there it is. Radiation everywhere. It's mess up my skin. Richter, please, you can't do this. We've been loyal and sell it to you. And your dedication has come in doubt. You need to prove your faith. One of you may return to the fold. The other will return to Adam. Richter, this is insane. I thought that's what they want. Will there be anything else? That'll be all. Sister. Thank you, Grandson. Come, join the Church of Dicks. They're you. Pardon me. You. What are you doing here? Did Far Harbor send you? Far Harbor can rot for all I can. <laughs> Hear no argument from me. So, explain to me why you're trespassing on sacred ground. Unless you're here seeking a place among Adam's children. I'm not interested in your cult. Just let me in and we won't have any problems. That's not happening. Only those chosen by Adam may enter. You want in, you'll have to earn it. <sighs> by doing what, exactly? There is a small spring not far from here. Those chosen by Adam drink and are granted something. A token, an experience. Those not chosen rarely return. Sorry, not interested. Fine. Then I suggest you be on your way. Fine. Excuse me. You're back. I'll do it for money. You change your mind about joining Adam's children? <sighs> what was happening with those two children of Adam you were uh, interrogating? An issue of loyalty. Not something you need to concern yourself with. Now, unless you've come to join Adam's faithful, I suggest you go on your way. I'm not interested in your cult. That's not happening. Ugh. <laughs> Can I take some time to think about it? Certainly. But I suggest you do it elsewhere. <laughs> oh, he's a dick, but I do kind of like Rick for that. <laughs> Move along, vagrant. <laughs> Ugh, you're not the only one. Can I go and, like, just do it? Or do I... Am I going to have to come back and butter up Richter some more? I don't really want to. Hmm. Apparently I'm hungry. <sighs> yeah, this is it. Don't eat the yellow snow and don't drink the yellow water. It's terrible. <coughs> I 
Do I get to have a vision now, or do I just get to get a high in like a spring? Ugh. I need to drink out of this crap hole twice. You're back. You change your mind about joining Adam's children? I'm interested in joining. Sign me up. First, the ritual. Go to the spring. Drink. You come back, we'll discuss you joining the faithful. Yeah, great. Irritating witch. Come to rural Maine. Hey. Drink the garbage which comes out of the spring. More freaky than it is. I'm hearing the tears of people who are probably disappointed in this something that much is used to. I'm not interested. Go away. Ah, oh, brilliant something looks ridiculous. Where's the other one gone? doesn't look good for you. is embarrassing but it's better than walking. There's the damn submarine base. God's sake McCready, it would have been useful to have you here using your map skills if you have any. You're done with the navigator. Oh, I'll do. Fine, I'll go round. How does one get into this damn place?
welcome him back. More than I expected. Did Adam reveal something to you? That spring was poison. Were you trying to kill me? Those waters are blessed with Adam's holy glow, <laughs> which you survived. Was that the extent of your experience? Yeah, I found this statue, but was I supposed to be led there by some creepy woman? A woman? Led you to that icon? What woman? What did you see? There was a beautiful lurk tar. You know, half woman, half Meyer lurk. Guess which end was which. Very funny. Now answer my question. This woman, what did Adam show you? Is there something special about this thing? I think it may be a message from someone very important. <laughs> so I need you to tell me it's what you saw. trolling said. now. <laughs> it was like a nightmare. Haunting whispers, shadowy creatures, and, and, and the ghost of a woman covered in mist. Adam above. You really did see her. The mother of the fog. The mother is a messenger from Adam. Acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family. She's the one who led the first of us to this place. And if she revealed herself to you... I'm pretty sure Dima showed you the bloody base. You is clear. If you are prepared to take the next step, then I believe there is a place for you among Adam's children. I am ready to follow his path. Then it will be so. Head inside and present the icon to the High Confessor once his sermon is done. He'll be interested to see that. Once you've spoken with him, you should come see me. I have a task I think you'd be useful for. And here, some more appropriate attire. But know this, we are all devoted servants to Adam here. Messenger or no, actions against the family will not be tolerated. Welcome, brother. Oh! Thanks. I hate him. They are doomed, brothers and sisters, and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself, given form in holy form. Yet no Are matter you? how inevitable Triumph Adam's reign in inevitable. this land may be, his fog they cannot be halted. Stop I guess we'll have to see. Kill our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them the light no longer. After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. And I know the key to our victory lies within the nucleus itself. Hey, we there. will claim I the secrets hidden away by that accursed man. robot. God. And with them, we will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Adam's veil will roll down its streets. Holy fog cleansing the land of their heresy. And when we are finally granted division, it will be as heroes. A new day dawns, brothers and sisters. Glory to Atom! Glory to Adam! Oh, yes. I know he will come. He will be with me. And all before. Glory. Glory to Adam. Absolutely. Excuse me. Yeah. I mean, glory to Adam. Wait, you're the new convert. You happen to see Brother Devin, the sickly guy praying off by himself. I think so. Is he the one with the propellers and the periscope? I mean, he's kind of hard to miss. No, he'd be the skeletal one with all his hair falling out. See, Brother Devin, he's been on a fast, a long one. No food, only irradiated water waiting for a sign from Adam. Most folks would say that's real admirable, giving yourself to Adam like that. What do you think? Sounds nuts to me. Adam above, someone else. Look, me and Devin, we're, we weren't born with Adam's blessing like everyone else around here. Rads, they hurt us. 
Now Devin thinks fasting and refusing meds till he dies is gonna get Adam to grant him some kind of revelation or something. I've tried talking to him. He won't listen to me anymore, and everyone else in this place thinks what he's doing is a brilliant idea. I... I know we don't know each other, but if you could convince him to quit, I'd owe you. Could give you some anti-rad meds I've cooked up. Recipe, too. Damn handy for folks like us. What do you say? Talk to him for me? Anti-rad meds? Are those allowed? No one's gonna bother you about scouring off the globe, if that's your concern. They understand we weren't all born with his blessing. But my brew will clear away some rads mm. and give you a little kick of energy. You get something Anytime out of I it, then. make a batch, you're welcome to some. Give you the recipe to boot. So you think you'd be willing to talk to Brother Devin about this fast of his? Yeah. Okay, sure. I'll talk to him. Oh, thank you. Please, just do it quick, all right? He's starting to look bad. Uh, hi there. Holy Adam, from this spot, I... I... Huh. Is that you? Has your compatriot accepted oh, Adam holy. as well? Oh, welcome. Uh, I'm sorry, brother. I thought you were... Never mind. Did you need something? Have you just been sitting here? Yeah, I think you need a new hobby. <laughs> I suppose I look a mess at this point. But I... I can't leave. Adam came to me. And I will follow his command. And if Adam told you to jump off a cliff, would you? I see what you're trying to do. But it's not going to work. For I have seen his messenger with my own eyes. Jet has been my crutch for many years. One day, Ooh, I was in the woods, customer. polluting myself, when a figure strode from the sky before me, a verdant stag, wreathed in holy glow. It commanded me to return to the nucleus, and to leave behind my iniquities, and give myself fully to Adam. For my dedication, Adam would send another messenger, who would free me from my shackles once and for all. That, brother, is why I must wait. Good news! I am Adam's messenger, and I have come to free you from your shackles. Hiya! There! Now, uh, let's just keep this between us, okay? You're the, you're the messenger? The shackles are gone? They are, aren't they? Oh, thank you. Thank you, your brilliance. And don't fear, messenger. I will keep your secret. Oh, Adam above, thank you. Oh, he can make some this money messenger. off of these guys, he really can. You did it. Adam above, you did it. Here, anytime I brew a new batch, you can have some. And if there's anything else I can do for you, you let me know. You're far too nice, Where I'll have to blow you up. Hi. Pardon me. Glory to Adam, brother. You must be the one Richter sent out to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slaughtering goon. I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? He came to me and told me the secret to overcoming all life's challenges. And for a mere 500 caps, that secret can be yours, too. I believe I'll pass. But nevertheless, should you need something for myself or the other zealots, you need only ask. So, you're a zealot? What is that exactly? We are defenders of Adam's faith, and guardians of the nucleus. <laughs> I love the rings around her eyes, they make her look crazy. <laughs> oh, I'd have to put them on Bernard if I wasn't so convinced that he wouldn't want any filth on him. Nothing for now. Remain vigilant, brother. Zealot Theo. Yes, I was right. Excuse me. I was wondering when I'd get to meet our newest member. I'm Sister Mai. And rumor has it, you're the one who caught the attention of the Mother of the Fog. You happen to catch the Grand Zealot's uh, loyalty test too? Yeah, I saw it. Mm. Look, it's a lesson worth learning now. Trust is a big deal in this family. Our members need to know how to steer clear of trouble. Sorry, 
I have this habit of running straight towards signs of trouble. Just stay on the High Confessor's good side and you'll be all right. Now, there's something I can show you? And, uh, not sure if the glow bothers you, but I can help the scouring, too. No, not interested. Right I'm now. here if you change your mind. If you see a light drifting untethered through the fog, run. The angler has likely already spotted you. That doesn't scare me. Another time. Pardon me. Praise Adam, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Bernard, Brother Kane. Okay. Unless you've suddenly taken over as High Confessor, you can wait until morning. I guess I'll have to, since you're useless. <laughs> you're the one who's giving him no personal space. Excuse me, sister. This life is but a brief interlude. Someday, we will all be oh, other that. ones. Ah, that's <laughs> bullshit. Surprise, surprise. You finished your prayers already? Nope. Ah, oh, there you are. I have a job for you. So long as it doesn't involve drinking from any more poisoned water features. No, not so much. There is a woman, one of our own, or she was, Gwyneth, but she's given herself over to something dark. The Confessor ordered Zealot Field to track her down, but the heretic eluded her. Now Gwyneth has begun profaning our holy sites with her mad ravings, openly flouting the word of Adam. The High Confessor wants her found and executed. We can't try talking to her. Maybe she'll see reason. Won't lie. Sister Gwyneth was a good woman. But whatever's driven her to this lunacy, Surprisingly, uh, I'm not sure how much it's left behind. Measure for Bernard? The High Confessor's decided her abandonment of Adam's too great a sin. The refusal of his grace can't be permitted. Absolutely not. I'm not just going to execute a woman. Adam makes demands of us all, however unpleasant. It is not our place to disobey. Speak to Zealot Thiel. She should be <laughs> able to you. I said no, you're going to make me do it anyway. Adam's judgment to the heretic. Now go. Grand Zealot, find Gwyneth and put an end to her heresy. That is your task. My confessor, right? Why do you think the citizens of Far Harbor reject Adam? Don't they wish to unlock the worlds within themselves? I don't know. Ah, I heard the spirits of a new convert. Welcome, brother. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's chosen? Like I'm surrounded by fanatics. True devotion is often mistaken. I can assure you we are no fanatics. <laughs> but we do have a singular purpose. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what's clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? I don't know what I'd do. Understandable. But when faced with an enemy who would see you hunted, beaten, and robbed of what is rightfully yours, there can be only one course of action. Fight back. For years, my predecessor begged for peace, while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize oh, even in context, he sounds like a nut. as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that, and you will do well here. Now, was there anything you require? What happened to the Confessor before you? Martin. No one knows. One night he was sleeping in his chambers in the vessel, 
and the next morning, he'd simply vanish. The other zealots and I organized a party to try and find him. To no avail. I wouldn't be shocked if he took up in Far Harbor or fled to the south. His dedication to Adam had become questionable. He'd done nothing when Far Harbor executed one of our missionaries. So I dare say it's best that he fled. What happened to this missionary? A foul atrocity. Our good brother Andrews had decided to brave the fog and attempt to bring Adam's light to that ghastly town and remind the heathens of their trespasses. From what I hear, he'd barely spoken a word before they cut him down in cold blood for nothing more than his devotion. Beasts. <laughs> There's so much radiation on the island. How come people here don't get sick? Some do. But most of our family has been blessed at birth with an affinity for the glow. It's no more to us than a May rain. Warm, comforting. It's why a place like this island. It's a voice for children's stories at bedtime. Warm, comforting. Others simply wither away while we gladly await division. We happily wither away. What can you tell me about division? Adam's greatest gift. Locked inside us all are billions of invisible worlds waiting only to be touched by his glow in order to be born anew through division. During the Great War, it was granted to many, though they certainly didn't realize it. But today it is often a slow process, taking years of exposure in order to be realized. We are all here to spend our lives seeking the promise of division, however long it may take. Now, did you have another question? How is it you came to this place? We were guided here many years ago, after our exile from Far Harbor. The first of us, my predecessor, Martin, and I, had come north at the behest of Adam's great prophet, Confessor Cromwell, from a small refuge in the capital wastes. When we arrived on the island, we found a few souls receptive to Adam's message. Anna, the archivist, was formerly Far Harbor's doctor before she found the light. But most, they thought us a menace. We were chased from the town, driven into the wilds. And the burning remains of their tawdry rags cast after them. Barely escaped with our lives. Some of us were never the same. It was only thanks to the grace of Atom that we survived and finally found a place that we could call home. Didn't have anything else for the moment. Adam, keep it. Wait. Zealot Field. Glory to Adam, brother. Did you need something? The Grand Zealot sent me. Tell me what you can about Sister Gwyneth. Very well. As I'm sure the Grand Zealot informed you. Gwyneth was once a devoted member but of threatening her, though prone to strange moves. She was well liked by men. <laughs> Grand love Zealot that in face. particular seemed out of place paint. At least until she turned her back on Holy Adam. It was my duty to find her. But Gwyneth was always clever. I'm ashamed to admit that I failed. Why not just ignore her? Is Gwyneth really that much of a threat to you? No. That is out of the question. Adam's will is clear in this matter. Heresy cannot be tolerated. I can tell Gwyneth was your friend. How do I know you didn't deliberately fail? I would never risk defying Adam's will. My faith is my life, and my devotion to Adam is absolute. Despite your insults, it is my duty to help you in this matter, and so I will. You should begin by searching the holy site. Perhaps you'll find some clue I miss. Far Harbor has sinned against Adam's children for the last time. Their judgment comes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you lovable loon. I think we'll leave it there for now. Um, my ears hurt, essentially. As much as I could carry on and I could hunt down zealots and do what 
detector says, seeing as he's obviously a reasonable man. I think we'll leave it there for the minute. I really need to rest my ears, I'm also hungry. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining me and uh, Bernard and his wonderful personality. We'll hey. see what he makes of uh, helping out the children of Atom. To be honest, I think they'd have been better off without him. But, yeah, we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, children of Adam are dangerous by my fine hand cannons.